In this video, I'm going to show you how to add content into your lesson. First, navigate to your course and find your lesson. Note you will not have to turn editing on for this step. Simply click on your lesson. Once here, you will be given options to edit your lesson. We can import questions, which is similar to importing questions from a question bank. Add a content page, add a cluster, and add a question page. For right now, we'll only talk about adding a content page. First, you will want to name the page for your students. I'm just going to name it page one. And then you're going to want to put in some content. You can either record content by yourself with audio and video from Poodle. You may paste in content from an article. You may link a website resource or you may even paste in a video that you may wish students to watch. In this case, we'll do that. In this case, I just have something short as a header. I'm just gonna put this in the middle, make it look more like a page. Then for my video, I'm going to highlight it and not open it in a new tab, but I am gonna paste this in here because opening a new tab would defeat the purpose of doing this within a lesson activity. So we're going to create this link. It turns blue. I'm going to center it as well. So it is centered with the other content so that when this shows up embedded in this page, students will be able to view it directly there. The buttons will be the same and we'll display this in the menu. This is where you would add the button to go to the next topic where you can put in a different title for that and select what page it would go to. For this, we'll just choose next page and save. Now we have one page and its content and it tells us where it goes. If I want to preview that, I can click the magnifying glass and it shows me the page and what it holds. And then I can also go to next page. Since there is nothing there, we have reached the end of the lesson. To add more pages, from the drop down menu here on the right, we could scroll down and add a content page again. We can label this as page two. And this may be something you want the students to look at that reviews the content of the, the video. And this is for the information at. that they may need to review or some concepts that you can build on from the video. And for this, we're just going to do end of lesson and then end lesson and save. Since we have put a video in there, and I know because I pasted it in, and the video takes about 20 minutes, I'm going to go back in the settings, go to activity completion, and make this so the students must be in there to watch the video for at least 25 minutes. I think the video is exactly 22-ish, so we'll make sure that they're in there at least for the duration of the video, so the students are in there watching the content and that you know that they have been in there for that long to be able to watch the content. We're going to save and display, and you can see here it shows page one, and it opens directly to the lesson just as your students would see it. We can continue, and you have added a few pages for your lesson. Thank you for watching.